Are you tired of the current state of Yu-Gi-Oh? Then allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite alt formats, Firewater. Now Firewater gets its namesake from the two most popular decks during the time period, Firefist and Mermails, but it goes much deeper than that. The card pool extends into March 2014, but utilizes the January 2014 Forbidden and Limited list, hence why it's also called January 2014 format, but most people just know it as the pre-hat era. This format interested me a lot because I see a lot of things that made Edison great. It's an incredibly diverse format with great combo potential, but also somehow slow and methodical like classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Many cards exist to slow the game down while not feeling oppressive, and most decks spend their first turn just setting and passing. Combined with a card pool that includes fan favorites like Dark Worlds, Bujins, Dragon Rulers, and more, I kept asking myself, why are people playing Hat instead of this? It has the exact same problem cards, but they're even worse in Hat format. So what's the catch? Well, there's two or three. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Let me be clear on what I'm saying. Now, I know I just said Maxi and Vandy's are legal, but 2014 is one of the last years where they don't really matter as much. Maxi is actually a fair card. Decks like Mermail and Inferni get severely hampered by it, while slower decks like Girgia and Bujins are just fine setting and passing. And while Vanities can be annoying, MST is at 3, and cards like Firefist Bear deal with it entirely, so it's not that problematic. Also, this format doesn't have the looming presence of Top Deck Soul Charge. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about this format is it's a pre-Duelist Alliance format, which means we still... <sighs> draw for turn. That being said, let's take a look at just a few of the decks that my friends and I have enjoyed playing. First up we have Girgia Karakuri, which is just one of my favorite decks in playstyle. It's such a cool mid-range deck that's really explosive. Uh, Girgia Armor is the main card for this deck and you want to resolve it as much as possible. It's basically Stratos, but went on flip summon and can flip it back down via a Pac-Man-like effect. So you can just resolve this multiple times in a single turn depending on how it goes. And when you combine that with something like Gear Gear Accelerator, which is a free non once per turn extender, Gear Gear Arsenal, which is a lone fire blossom for the deck, and the Gear Giano monsters, which when paired with Gear Gear Gear, allow you to make some rank fours very, very quickly. And then the Karakuri monsters allow you to make powerful synchros like Stardust, Scrap Dragon, but most importantly, the Karakuri synchros in Beret and Beret Do, which just allow you to overwhelm your opponent in advantage. Up next, we have Harpies. This deck is, again, just one of my favorites. There's so many very cool decks. There's only a handful of decks that I think are just not that interesting. The main goal of this deck is to resolve Hysteric Sign, which is up to a plus four, getting you Egotist and up to three different Harpy names to your hand, and Hysteric Party, which is literally an archetypal soul charge masquerading as a Call of the Haunted. We have very powerful cards like Harpy Channeler, which just lets you make rank threes like Lightning Chidori, Ice Beast, Zerafrine, just super easily. And when you combine it with Harpy's Pet Dragon, allow you to make powerful rank sevens like Draco Sack, Big Eye, and Master of Blades. This deck is kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum to Gear Gear Karakuri, where it's again a pretty slow mid-range deck that's kind of explosive, but instead of gaining you advantage, you're trying to remove advantage from your opponent with things like Hunting Ground and Icarus Attacks. We have one of my and Zach's favorite decks, Ghost Trick Medolce. Now this deck, I will be honest, isn't very good, but it's just so funny and has some very powerful interactions that we just really like to play this deck. Uh, the main goal of this deck is to uh, make things like Invoker and Queen Tiramisu and just overwhelm your opponent with advantage off of your Chateaus and Tickets. Uh, now notably, this deck is playing Vandies in the main deck, and it's one of the few that does so. Um, but most decks you will find, if they're playing Vandies, they're not playing many copies, they're mostly playing it in the side, same thing with Maxi. And then finally, it wouldn't be a Fire Water format video without talking about the elephant in the room, Fire Fist. Now Fire Fist is somehow both not the best deck in the format, but also the most popular deck in the format. I think it's just nostalgia from people who actually played 2014 Yu-Gi-Oh! and just really like Fire Fist. Now back in the day, the community was split between a 4-axis and a 3-axis build, eventually settling on a 3.5-axis build, which is what I've been testing with and kind of liking. Now this deck was piloted by High Brother in the Wolf Bark Open 7, which is basically the only Firewater format events that are going around, and he got first place with this, so I figured we should show it off. Now this is basically just slimmed down to the minimum possible to be a 4-axis build, and it's essentially just trying to control the game state with things like Bear and Wolf Bark. Uh, you essentially have super consistent access to it with Card Card D, Upstart, and Pot of Duality, and you're basically just backing it up with powerful traps, removal, 
and other options. So that's it for me, but before we sign off, I just want to show you guys how little of the surface I have scratched when looking at Firewater. These are all the decks that have been playable either during 2014 or post hence here in the modern era with a few tournaments that are run. And there's tons of other decks that are just waiting to be broken, just like Edison format. I really enjoy this format. I really think it's just moments away from being the best XEs format as things like hat format are just not there for me. So if you guys really enjoyed this and you want to see more Firewater content, drop a like, let me know. You know, I probably will do some more content involving Firewater. It really is one of my favorite formats, but that is all for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.